parfait for a light and healthy dessert. We'll start with a white chocolate Nutella speckled with some mint on the bottom. Then we'll have a matcha avocado mousse. Next, we'll have a kiwi lime jam. And to finish, we'll have some matcha maple almonds. Let's get started. Before we get started on our parfait today, I do want to showcase one special ingredient that we are featuring in this dessert. And that is some matcha tea from Samey Tea. It's really a beautiful, unbelievable product. And I want you to know a little bit more about it, as well as matcha tea in general, so that you can be a really informed purchaser of this great product. The first thing I want to emphasize is the purity of matcha. When you're drinking this tea, you're actually consuming a whole leaf, so it's really essential that you're buying organic. Conventional tea often contains pesticides, even if the label says it's safe, so you want to avoid that entirely. Some matcha might even contain lead as well, and I'll link to another video to explain a little bit more about this and how you can be certain you're avoiding this poor quality tea. Sami Tea's matcha is not only certified organic, but it is authentic, Japanese, and lead-free. So you know that when you're purchasing from Sami Tea, you're getting the best matcha tea possible. Sami Tea also has numerous different kinds of matchas to choose from, and they were all selected for their sustainability and clean farming practices. So you can find the one that suits your preferences the best, and just enjoy it. If you're interested in learning even more facts about tea, Sami Tea offers a free online tea course on their website and it's titled For the Thirsty Mind. So now let's delve into our dessert and get this beautiful, wonderful tea incorporated into all the different layers to add some earthy, floral, and wonderful nutritious notes to it as well. The first thing we're going to do is roast our half a cup of hazelnuts in the oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 minutes, just so they're a little bit golden brown and then we'll let them cool and we'll be able to blend them with our white chocolate for our Nutella. Now we will peel our kiwis and cut them into some small cubes so that we can quickly cook them with some lime juice and zest. And then we will blend them with some mint for our kiwi lime jam. So I like to peel directly over some sort of material, whether it's foil, parchment, or a paper towel, so that I can quickly clean up all the trimmings once I'm done and I can work directly on the cutting board without having to worry about washing it. Okay, so now we'll just clean up our trimmings and we will trim off the ends. And make sure you remove any extra skin that you might have missed. And now we are just going to cut it into some small chunks, and then we will zest and juice the lime directly into the pot, and just give it a quick cook to basically help infuse some of that lime in there. And that's it. We do have a secret ingredient that we will include in this jam to add just a little extra nutrients as well as to keep the color bright and vibrant. And you'll see that in just a moment. So now we have here our lime, and we will just quickly zest it. We're just going to use half the lime. We'll save the other half for our avocado mousse. So let's just squeeze it right in. Great, and now let's get it over low heat on the stove. We have just one other component to cut for this dessert, and that is our mint. So we're going to just pull it all together, and then we'll quickly give it a rough chop. This is for the Nutella speckles. So not all of the mint. We have some that we're saving still for our kiwi jam, but we will take this and just chop it the small pieces and set it aside. Okay, we can see that our lime juice has almost all evaporated or soaked into our kiwi, and they're just a little bit soft now, so we can blend them with our mint and a little bit of salt, but we will just let it cool for a minute so that we don't turn the herbs a dark green, a dark green or brown because of the heat. So we'll let this cool for a moment, and we will blend our avocado mousse in the meantime. Okay, now we are going to use our food processor. We'll get started right now with our avocado matcha mousse. Here I have half an avocado. We're just going to put it right in. 
make sure it all gets in there. You can break up any larger pieces so that they just blend a little, a little quicker. And we're going to add half a lime right in and it'll help keep that bright green color as well. Now we're going to add half a teaspoon of matcha powder. Again, we'll contribute more bright green color. Get that right in there. And just a pinch of salt. We actually will not add any sweetness here because we want a more mellow component to balance out the sweetness of the Nutella and the sweet fruitiness of the jam and the nuts. So this is just very clean. And now we will blend. And it's not going to be super smooth, but we'll make it as smooth as we can get it. And since the avocado is super soft, it'll just melt in our mouth either way. And now we'll just give a little scrape down and then we will blend once more. Great, we'll just give a quick taste and make sure we have enough salt and lime in there. And we are good to go. And now we are going for our kiwi lime jam. So we have our kiwi that we just added into the blender. And we've got our mint sprigs going right in as well. And then we also have our special ingredient, which I mentioned before, which is spinach making it extra bright green. And we'll add just a touch of salt as well. And now we blend. Looks like we are there. We'll just give a quick taste. Perfect. We'll scoop it out, wash it, and move on to our next step. And we will now be quickly just crushing our almonds for our crumble. You could do this by hand, or you could keep them whole if you like. I like them to be a little bit broken up for some more texture. And so we're just going to quickly pulse. look and this looks great we want some large and small pieces and what we'll do is we'll just strain it quickly through a little strainer so that we can remove any of the fine crumbs that we don't want in there so we will just quickly shake it over this bowl and what we'll actually do with those fine crumbs is add it back into the processor and just let that get incorporated into the Nutella. So we will set this aside for a moment and we will quickly begin to candy our matcha maple nuts. So we have here, we're going to use a teaspoon of maple syrup to start. We want only a little bit here. We don't want it to be too sweet. We're just going to heat this up and we'll add the nuts right in. We'll add our matcha and a pinch of salt right in as well. Here I have about a quarter of a teaspoon of matcha per quarter cup of nuts. And we'll actually add the salt in at the very end so that we can make sure we get a little piece on the tip of our tongue. It just helps to enhance the flavor of these nuts. And all we're going to do is give a quick stir to make sure they're well coated. And then just let them ride over low heat so that the sugar caramelizes just a bit. And that's it. Very simple. Okay, our nuts have now cooked and they're just a little bit crisper due to that caramelization of the maple. And we're going to add the salt while it's still hot so it sticks to the nuts. And now it is time for our Nutella. So we have our food processor. We don't need to clean it this time. Add back in all those almond crumbs. And we will get our hazelnuts in too.
They're nice and golden brown. Now we're going to process our hazelnuts till they create a butter. And then we're going to add in some melted white chocolate. So I have white chocolate right here that I'm just going to melt until it's liquefied. And we'll incorporate that when it's in that form. It'll be easier to help blend into the hazelnut butter more smoothly. And we'll microwave that just on medium power for about 45 seconds. And then we'll see if it needs to go a little bit longer. Now we will blend our hazelnuts. Here we are. It's not going to be super smooth. We're not using a super powerful blender, nor are we using a ton of nuts, so it's not easy for it to kind of, it's not easy for it to blend all of it at once, but the texture will just add a little extra crunch, which is great. And now we'll add in our chocolate, and you can see that it's pretty much in that liquid form of melted chocolate. Scoop that right in. Okay, let's blend again. It's even smoothed out a little bit more due to the white chocolate creating a little more volume in there. And this is perfect. And we'll just stir in our mint and season with a little bit of salt. We can actually do the salt while it's still in here. I don't like to blend the mint in because some of the moisture that's remaining if there is any left, will potentially cause the Nutella to seize up a bit and we want this more beautiful, luscious texture. Okay, let's put it in a bowl, add the mint, and then put it all together. I added my Nutella to my mint. I'm just stirring that around. And now it's time to put it all together. So I have my parfait glass right here, and I'm just going to keep this in the center and pour it right down so I don't get any on the edges and ruin that nice clean look from looking into the glass. Of course, you can always wipe it if you do get it on the edges, but it's harder to keep it super nice and clean. Next, we're going to add our matcha avocado mousse right on top. You can use your fingers to help. Make sure you get it all to the edge so you get that nice top layer. Now we have our kiwi lime jam right on top. Fill in the center. It's all around. And now to finish, we will do our matcha maple almonds right over the jam. If we were to take a look from the side, you can see the Nutella underneath, the avocado matcha mousse peeking through, the jam, and the nuts. And this is our green spring parfait. Thank you so much for joining me to learn how to make this vibrant, beautiful green spring parfait. I'd recommend eating it right away, but if you're going to enjoy it later, don't put it in the fridge or the Nutella on the bottom will get hard and it won't be easy to scoop out all the layers and enjoy them all together and get that wonderful mouthfeel from the velvetiness of that Nutella texture. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today to learn how to incorporate matcha tea into this lovely green spring parfait. And please check out Sammy Tea's other products on her website and feel free to play around with them in other sweet applications as well as in savory elements as well. No matter how you use the tea, it will really add a unique depth and flavor profile to your dish. And I highly recommend just going for it, testing it out, and having fun and seeing what you like. It's sometimes super subtle, sometimes super strong. Just get creative and play around with all the different products that you can to find the one that you like the most. Thank you again, and bon appetit.